Hi, I'm Christian from EV to Power, and today I'm going to talk about the SeaTech Power Station. Uh, this is the 6 kilowatt version uh, fitted with a 32 amp uh, power outlet. So, um, let's look at it uh, uh, first of all. So, it uh, feels nice and solidly built. It's got some fan um, holes at the front and at the back and at the base. It weighs in at a hefty 23 kilos, but it has got a nice padded um, handle. So, um, it's very simple to use, uh, so uh, there's not that much to, to describe. But first of all, I'll talk about the lead. So, the, um, it comes with this, uh, the Chadamo uh, lead. And just for clarity, this will only, use, uh, only work with uh, um, vehicles that use the Chadamo charging, station, uh, charging system. So that's uh, the Nissan Leaf, uh, the Mitsubishi Outlander, and other uh, vehicles that we'll list on the, on the website. So uh, you take this end and you plug it in. There you go, nice solid clunk. Uh, and then this end is uh, plugged into the, into the vehicle. Uh, on this side here, there's the on-off switch. And when you turn it on, the fan kicks in and then it talks to the, um, to, to the lead itself just to make sure the connection is correct. So I'll just demonstrate. So the fan, this one comes on. Uh, there we go. And there's a little blue light that comes on and off to make sure that that's a secure connection. And then that uh, end is then plugged into the vehicle. Um, as you can hear, there's a fan. Uh, unlike the three kilowatt one, this one has a fan that kicks in straight away. It's uh, not particularly loud. Um, certainly a lot quieter than a, a generator. Um, so I'll just uh, turn this one off for a second. There we go. Uh, and I'll unplug that so we can see where we're going. Okay, so here at the front we've got uh, um, uh, three, um, well, uh, a green light that shows when the power is actually flowing through. Uh, there's an on-off button here which glows uh, blue uh, and, and the uh, alarm uh, uh, lights are on there. Um, at the um, uh, at the front, we've got the emergency cutoff. Just press that in, and that'll stop everything. And the alarm light uh, will come on. And just to disengage, just do like that. Um, now, this, as I said, is is fitted with a 32 amp uh, power outlet. The unit will actually go up to around about 30 amps, so not quite 32 amps. Um, so uh, with that, you will most probably need, depending on what you what you, you you're using, a, a distribution board and a 32 amp cable, so the 32 amp cable will go uh, into like that, and then the other end would plug into your to the distribution board. Uh, these are, well the whole thing, so these units are available to hire uh, uh, on the website, uh, and you can also hire the distribution uh, board and any other cables that you need, um, and so on. So, um, what else can I tell you about uh, this device? So, 6,000 watts, uh, it can be used to power a house, uh, but just a, a note of caution uh, about that. So, um, uh, you need to make sure that if you're connecting this to your house, which is connected to the grid, uh, that you have uh, an electrician, a qualified electrician, to make sure that everything is okay. What you don't want to do is, during a power outage, connect to your, to, to your home, uh, and then it's connected up to the grid, and you're sending power up the uh, up the, the wires to a, 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 um, uh, an electrician up the pole, an engineer up the pole, uh, uh, and not expecting power to come uh, through. So um, uh, we've used this to power our home. Um, we about 20 years ago we we built the house, and when we did, we wanted to have a uh, the ability to power the house from a generator. Uh, and so we had fitted a, a cable to the garage uh, and uh, a switch which then takes the house off the grid and then switches again to, so that it goes to the, to the generator. Uh, as I say, make sure that the, if you're going to do something like that, it's installed by a qualified electrician. Um, but we found that this, uh, with our Nissan um, LEAF 2015 um, model uh, with a 24 kilowatt hour battery, uh, it was able to charge the house or to, to power the house for 
um, about a day and a half on a full charge. So just going to do the calculations very quickly. The, uh, the Nissan Lease has a 24 hour, a kilowatt hour battery. Um, it's about five years old. It's 92-93% uh, state of health as it's known. So let's say we can use 20 kilowatt uh, hours um, of, of power. Um, the unit here will stop working, will stop drawing power from the uh, vehicle when the vehicle uh, battery charge is down to around about 30-35%. Uh, that means that's for two reasons. One, you can drive away uh, and you're not left with a flat battery, but also um, uh, discharging a vehicle down to, to zero is not very good for your uh, car battery and so that won't, won't happen with this device. Um, so, yep, yeah, uh, so we had, so take 30% uh, off that 20, left us with around about 14 uh, kilowatt hours, which is why we were able to, to power the house for uh, about a day and a half, when we use about eight kilowatt hours uh, um, a day. Um, so that's about it really. We've been very happy with it uh, so far. You're happy to, you're, you're welcome to, um, to hire it uh, for um, uh, to try it out, or if you want to to, to purchase it uh, and go to the purchase uh, section, and we explain how how we do that. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, do post any questions that you might have, and we'll come back to you as soon as we can with any answers. But thank you very much for watching. Cheers.